Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 38 of the Iron Man series. I only just finished uploading the last Iron Man video and I just had to record this intro right away because you know how I said it used to take me about 5 hours to upload one of these? Well that last video took me less than 10 minutes. Can you believe that difference? Holy shit. This video, however, is going to be up a lot quicker than the last one because I do have all those extra clips left over like I mentioned in the last video, but I did want to get a Zerk video up before this one, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do, or not, I guess. If Zerks aren't your thing, that's fine too, but enough of the shameless plug, let's get into it. Smoke Devil Boss kill 1000 bringing in the magic seed. Oh, picking up an elite clue during this black dragon task. Yes, we finally pick up a Necreal task. About time. Okay, decent amount of seeds from that. The back-to-back -back dream. Ah, uh, that's alright. We do need more Abyssal Whips, of course. Oh, 41 Rune Dragons. I still need that crossbow, so I'm gonna do them. I've decided I'm gonna keep up with Slayer until we hit 15 million experience. And then after 15 million experience, I wanna start doing a loot tab. Like, I don't high elk anything. I don't get rid of any drops. Just a straight loot tab of Slayer. I'm really looking forward to it. Pretty sure Rune Dragons are one of the rarest tasks. So let's see if we can get that back to back. Oh, no, but gargoyles are okay. Actually, do I like gargoyles anymore? Eh. Uh, they're kind of whatever now. I'm not exactly sure where I got all these clue scrolls from, but we have one of every single type. Now, this master does require a dragon pickaxe, so I'm going to drop it and see if we can pick up another one. But let's start with the easy. <laughs> I swear to God, that looked like third age shit for a second. My heart skipped a beat from an easy. What the fuck? Steel Full Helm T, Iron Plate Body T, and Ancient Robe Top. 335k, that is a good ass start. Medium? I, I'm pretty sure that's a unique. What the fuck? These are awesome. The hard? Okay, luck had to end somewhere. And the elite. Eh, uh, yeah, that's alright. I'm happy with those first two. They were nuts. Oh, yes, like two tasks after the last one. Got another hard clue from that gargoyle task. Whoa, that is a nice one. Ancient Dehyde, Ancient Page 2. Very nice. Okay, so the Ancient Dehyde top is a unique, and I've just realized I've actually completed the entire Zamorak set a long time ago, I think. Because I have the pants, I have two pairs of pants actually, right here. I, I never noticed. The first Blessed Dragonhide set completed. We are finishing off this collection slowly but surely. Oh wow, that was a quick hard clue. We got this from the Necreal task. And eh, 122k, not bad. Oh, we just passed 17 million farming experience. Dagoneth task, yes please. Got another hard clue. Hey, Amulet of Glory trimmed. Oh, and the Guthic's plate legs. They are not a unique. We've completed that set already. Actually, we have both of those uniques. Before we move on to that DK's task, in preparation for that 15 million Slayer and the starting of my loot tab, I think I'm going to reorganize and clean up my bank because I've only got, what is that, 13 spaces left, even with everything. So, going to clean it up, reorganize it. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, first thing I'm gonna do to clean up the bank is finish all these sets of armor and then go ahead and chuck them in the house. And if I do this, I no longer have to pick up all this shit from DKs because I only pick it up because I can't remember what I have, but it has turned out I've picked up everything I can from DKs. Wait a second, I just realized I can't complete these three sets right now because I'm on that DK's task. So to finish these, I do need to kill Dagonus and I can't do that right now. So I might just go ahead and finish the Mystic and then after the DK's task, we'll finish off these three. First one I'm going to knock out is the Mystic Gloves Light, which actually dropped from Desert Lizards or Rock Slugs, but the Rock Slugs have like shit drop table compared to the Desert Lizards. I mean, they're not great either, but they're better. And we can actually keep track with the ice coolers, so I'm very excited about that. Nice and easy, and it is a 1 in 512. Okay, we have now hit the drop rate. Uh, still no white Mystic Gloves yet, so we're going to have to go buy more ice coolers. Another 512, take two. Hey, we got him. Uh, that took like an extra 30 something kills. Not bad. 
All right, next up, I'm gonna go for the Mystic Light Boots and they drop off Cockatrice. So I'm gonna go work on that. And we also need the head drop from the Cockatrice and that will belong here and the Crawling Hand there whenever we get round to that one. So hopefully we can pick that up. I don't know if I'm gonna go for it while I'm going for the boots. Like if I get the boots, I don't know if I'll continue until I get the head. Uh, we'll see once we get the boots because the head is a one in 1000 and I kinda don't wanna waste time at the moment. Hey, there we go. We got the boots super early. Uh, we started with 155,011 charges, ending it off on 154,938. That's only like 80 something kills. That's nuts. The light set is completed, just the dark gloves to go. And they do drop from Banshees. I'm going to go kill the ones in the catacombs. Uh, as for the Cockatrice head though, I'm going to save that for the completionist series. So we won't get it now. Hey, there we go. That one took a little bit. The Mystic sets are safe and sound in the house. Gonna move on to that DK's task now. I think it took me about 400 Banshees, by the way. I ended up with 40k experience in each of the stats because I do train on uh, Lash here. So around 160 to 170,000 experience gained. And I'm pretty sure that's about 400 kills. But moving on to the DK's task now and then we'll finish off these last three sets. Oh no, Seer's ring on the ground. I'm about to die. Quick, heal. Yes. That was fucking close. I don't have any room for that. But that is our second one. Hey, picking up an archer's ring as well. Oh, really? I don't have a ring of elf on. That must be rare. Dagoneth task completed, ending it off on Supreme Kill Count 484, still after that Seer Cull. It's hard to believe that the one item I'm after is a fucking Seer Cull. But we did end up with a Archer's Ring and a Seer's Ring, so not bad at all. The trip comes out to 7 mil exactly almost, not fucking bad. Got a hard casket and an Elite, let's drop the Master once again. Uh, ooh, eh, whatever. Uh, hey, another master. What one's this? Uh, we can do that. And we have the master casket. Oh. 232k. Where? Where is that? That's Elks, I guess. Ah. <sighs> back to back magic seeds. Thank you very much. Picking up an elite clue from Cave Kraken Boss. Ah, oh, Smoke Devil Boss again, right after that Cave Kraken task. Only 64k XP to go. I'm gonna do it, because I still need that pet regardless. It's just, a, it's just a shit task, though. Oh, we got the Elite Casket. Hey, a Master! Once again, that was Elite Clue 99, by the way. One more for that big 100, but let's do this Master. Okay, we got the Master Casket. Super quick, what do we get? Uh, just a bunch of resources. Number 26. I completely forgot, but we can now start working on these Dagoness sets now that we are done with that DK's task. We do, in fact, need to spine chaps now because I ended up using these for a master clue. It's actually that one right there. So we're going to have to grab those as well as the gloves, boots, and helmet for each of these now. Hey, picking up the spine gloves first. I keep getting stretched hides. These are a 1 in 64 for each one, and I've had four of them. I need the circular and... Just normal Dagoneth hides, actually, which are meant to be uncommon. I mean, common. What the fuck? Hey, picking up the spine boots. Just need that circular hide now, and we're done for these ones. That is my fifth one in a row. Come on. Hmm. This is getting a little sus... What is going on? These... Uh... There's no way that's a coincidence. That is seven in a row. And I haven't received a single normal Dagoneth hide yet. I'm getting a little suspicious. Okay, yep. Something's not right here. Okay, so the Dagoneth hides only drop from the level 90 variant. It says the 88 on the wiki, so that is wrong. Very confusing, but I still haven't seen any circular hide yet. So hopefully it was also wrong about... No, I don't think these would drop it, but 
I'll give it a shot. Okay, so there's the five Dagoneth hides we need. They are completed now. Just the circular hide to go. I might kill these for a little bit. Maybe the wiki's wrong about that too. And these ones drop the circular hide. And then something completely different drops the flattened hide. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to see. Because I've lost all trust in the wiki at the moment for this monster. First kill, back to kill in the level 88. Uh, a ninth stretch hide. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, a flattened hide. That's not the one I need, but it's not a stretched hide. Okay, um, I guess that was a coincidence. What the heck? What? Circular hide. I was AFK, but we got it. Quick, quick, quick. Ah. Ah, that is the, uh, the spine set complete. Finally. I wish I had the bone crusher for that, because that took a lot of kills. I'll definitely get it for the next one. So the end result was nine stretch hide, one flatten, and one circular. Also walked away with six gloves and two boots. Skeletal boots coming in. I actually for a uh, fibula piece. I think that is the, I don't know. I need the skeletal piece. I don't know what one that is, but that's not the one we need. I forgot the bone crusher again though. So hopefully it doesn't take too many kills cause I'll regret it. Hey, we got the skull piece. Just the gloves to go now. Oh, come on. Okay, you win. I'll bank. Okay. Remember to bring the bone crusher this time. We're at 154,935. It probably won't matter anymore. I'm going to get it within the next 10 kills guaranteed now. Because I brought this thing. Wait. Why is it deactivated? I was wondering why I wasn't... What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh, I've killed so many! I'm at like 140,000 ranged experience. Ah, oh, I don't even know how that happened. Um, well, I almost need the bank again. So, uh, we are now tracking the kills. I, I didn't even see the bones on the floor. It didn't even fucking compute for me. I'm fucking retarded. I honestly didn't even know you could turn this off. Oh, that's... Uh, whatever. Oh, we got him! Yes! Do you want to know how many it took us to kill? Get this! Remember what I just said in the last clip before the last one about the 10 kills? It took me fucking 8 kills since we activated this. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, we got the chunk and we have two pairs of boots so far. We only need the gloves now, and then they are all complete. Hey, there we go. I'm not exactly sure how many that was. When's this? 838. 926, so less than 100. Not even bad. But I'm so glad I got lucky with this one, because these are the worst out of the three. They fucking run away. They run into other ones. It's, it's just a bitch. But I'm glad it's over with. See? Look at this. That's exactly what I mean. All right, all the sets are finally complete. Let's just chuck them in here. I did end up getting a lot of extra pieces of just random shit, like random bones and all that. And they seem to be worth a lot on the GE, I guess because no one ever fucking kills that stuff. So I'm going to go check out how much all the stuff is worth, like all the extra shit I got. All right, so this is all the extra shit. I think a lot of it is going to come out of these boots because I got so many and they're worth quite a bit. And these stretched hides, I'm pretty sure. 1.5 mil, yep, 500k in the boots, 200k in the stretch hides, that is nuts. If these sell for GE price, that's not a terrible money maker, especially the Wallace Sulkies or whatever the fuck they're called, the mage ones, they're pretty bloody good. All right, cleaned up the bank just a little bit, got a few more spaces now. One thing I did was I collapsed my uh, teleports and runes tab just to make it all a little compact because I wasn't using this first tab at all, like I had three lines of items in it. So I thought I'd make this the runes and teleports tab. So I've got all my school capes here. I've got the runes, teleports, graceful, uh, everything that was there all in the first original tab, which means we have freed up a tab for whatever we want, which is fantastic. That is absolutely awesome. And one thing I like about this is the skill capes. These are in order of every single one I got, and I can continue that on with these 10 spaces here, because we are only 10 skills away from max, and that's gonna look cool for after we've maxed. We can see what we got, 
when we got it in order. Uh, I'm happy with that one. I do want to upload tonight after I get 15 million Slayer XP, now that we've cleaned up the bank a little bit, but I can't be bothered doing that smoke devil task right now, so I'm actually just going to go AFK woodcut for a little bit, just chill out, and uh, we should be picking up 97 really quick. Oh shit, there it is, 97 woodcutting, just two more levels to go for another 99. What the fuck is going on? This one was uh, diseased, right, so I cured it, but this one had grown. And I've received 93 from it so far. I thought the max was 70 something. Even with these two, it shouldn't be this high, right? This will be no I just cracked 100. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. How many is that? 105 from one... Not, not one run. One patch. I, I'm so confused. All right, I just checked the wiki to try and find out the max yield. Apparently, this doesn't even work for the patch. Only compost does. I, I am, I am even more confused, and I'm, I've drowned. Oh, the other one's grown now. Let's see how much this run will give me. Because 105 from the first patch. I think my record was 128, 129. Maybe 140, I can't remember, but I should beat it with that first patch being 105. No, the second patch choked, only coming in with 135, so only 30 from that patch. Um, that still might be my personal best, I, I can't remember, I'll have to go back and check it out, but... Wow, 920k away from 98 woodcutting, but we did end up getting all four caskets, so let's open them up. Starting with the easy. Uh, yeah, medium. Oh, I, I don't think that's a unique, to be honest. The hard. The master clue. Damn it, now we can't open the elite. All right, let's go do this. Okay, we got the master casket. Uh, two U-seeds, wines, uh... That's not bad, it's, it's whatever. Hey, killed 1,130, picking up an occult necklace. We have like 12 of these now or something. Hey, second occult this task. Smoke devil task complete, finishing it off on 1,272kc. We are currently only 19,000 XP away from 15 million. I'll hit that and then that'll probably be the end of the episode. And I couldn't think of a better way to get that last 19,000 experience with some neck reels. So what I'm going to do is for the first 19,000, I'm going to elk the drops. And then after that, I'm just going to bank them. <laughs> what the fuck? I just, <laughs> I was just looking at the loot tab to see what clues I had. And I forgot I had that elite casket. Um, I'll go complete these so we can open this. <laughs> All right. Easy hard elite. Let's go. Uh, not bad. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay, I won't forget about this elite in the bank this time. I, uh... Ah, oh, it's exactly what happened last time. This is gonna have third age because it just keeps getting put off. There is the master casket. We get... Oh, uh... It's not great, but that is a lot of nature runes right there. Don't worry, I did not forget the elite. Here we go. Oh, hey, that's our 100th elite though. Shame it's nothing good. There it is. 15 million Slayer experience. The loot tab is now going to begin. Here is the current loot tab that I've had since pretty much starting Slayer on this account. Only things I really kept were boss drops, D-spears, and the shield left halves. By the way, yes, I know it's extremely messy and annoying to look at at the moment, but I'm waiting until I get a lot of the placeholders, like full rune, dragon, stuff like that, before I go ahead and making it look pretty. But back to the issue I'm having, as you can see, there's already shit in here, so it's not going to be an exactly perfect tab from 15 mil Slayer XP, but I don't really want to high elk all of it or drop trade it over because I do like the look of it all sitting in here. Now, it's not an issue for everything in here, of course, because I can use this Primordial and the Pegasian on the boots as soon as I get an extra from Cerberus. Same with the Zora drops. I'm actually considering breaking these down. I don't need the scales, but I don't think I want them in here anymore, especially 
considering I'm starting to do this loot tab. The main issue comes from the DK rings and all these dragon items. I could imbue all of these and then they'd get chucked into the other tab, but I kinda don't wanna do that either. I might just have to take a screenshot of it all now and then take out everything that doesn't belong whenever we check in on the Slayer tab, but I guess we'll see what I do in the end. It is a sad day. I'm about to use up the last of my hop seeds for the birdhouse runs, so that means I do have to go back and get some more. That lasted us a little bit though, ending up with over 2,300 bird's nests from all of them in total. <laughs> One of my mates came by and he just sort of smiled and I didn't realize what he was doing, but what a fucker. Found myself a dragon impling. Oh, how much are they worth now? 859k. That is a nice pickup. Been working on some woodcutting, only 260k away from level 98, but we do have one of every single casket, so let's go. Junk. 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 Ah. Uh, I like that one. Whoa. 630k, that must be an expensive page. There is 98 woodcutting, just one more to go. Now I've got to admit something, you know that clip of me getting 15 million Slayer experience? That was my last extra clip I had left over from the last video. And that was almost 19 minutes worth of extra clips. I pretty much had two entire episodes ready to go while I made you guys wait three weeks for one. It honestly didn't look like I had that many clips, but I guess I was wrong. I really need to start getting into the habit of editing as I go, because right now I just get an entire episode's worth of clips and then just mash them all together in one night. It's a really bad habit and it's not practical because I never know how long an episode currently is. And then I'm normally up to about 12 or one in the morning editing it, but then I have work at six. It really is just a shitty system I've got going on right now, but I do want to improve on it. So I'm going to start editing as I go from now on. So that is going to help a lot. Actually, that kind of brings me on to the next thing I wanted to talk about. My kingdom. I've decided I'm going to collect it on coal. It just makes the most sense. But I won't be able to do that this episode like I thought I would be able to because, well, it's just not ready yet. It has been one day since I uploaded the last iron video for me. Hang on a second. 22 hours ago I uploaded that video, so I still have about five days until I can collect kingdom for that 90 day tab. Even though this episode is ready less than a day after the last one, I am going to be holding off on it. I know that sucks, I am sorry, but I do still want the next video to be a Zerk one. Get that mixed in there and then I'll upload this a few days after that. It's just a smarter thing for me to do at the moment. It gives me more time to work on the next video for you guys without the pressure of, oh shit, it's been this many days or weeks since my last video. I really need to hurry the fuck up. It also gives you guys less wait time in between videos too. So instead of me dumping this video now and then you guys having to wait two weeks for the next one, if I just hold off on it, you guys should only have to wait four or five days in between videos. So it feels like they are coming quicker too. This is the first time I've ever been ahead in my videos. Instead of just instantly uploading it as soon as it's ready because it's been so long since I've uploaded one last and I really just want to be smart with it to make it a little bit easier for me in the future. Ooh, a little bit of a ramble at the end there, my bad. I just wanted to have that chat about all that stuff before we end it here but as always thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.